When you get to the beach this early in the morning, you'll get to see all of these outriggers ready to launch. They're here every Saturday and uh, typically they're right here around seven in the morning. Welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. Well, I'm here at Dana Point again, just launched from Baby Beach. Air temperature is 67 degrees. Water temperature is at 71 degrees. Today I'll be fishing with Glenn. I'm on my way to the bait barge. But it's just a little after 7 a.m. So I'm gonna have to wait on Glenn to show up. So I'm gonna take my time for now. Time to get some live bait. From Southwest Kayak Fishing. Need my net? <laughs> How big are the sardines? This side. Oh, nice. That's good for now. That's it for now? You don't want any more? Well, Let me see what if it's got. crowded in your tank, the swells are starting to get bigger. Look at that. Alright, as you can see, I have the bow of my yak pointing out towards open water. Behind me there is the beach. And then you can see to my right are a bunch of surfers, but directly behind me are more surfers. So that is your reference point. You want to pay attention to the uh, surfers right behind you because that is the surf zone. Uh, the cool thing about having surfers out here is that they're looking to catch a wave and you're looking to avoid them. So if you're able to stay clear of that area, you're going to be safe. All right, there's minimal risk of you capsizing. Now you do want to pay attention to your drift because you're constantly being pushed towards the beach and into that surf zone. So as long as you pay attention, keep the bow of your kayak pointed out towards open water, you're in good shape. Because if for, there are times when a wave can break early, as long as your, your bow is facing towards that wave, you could power right through it. But you never want to be caught broadside by a breaking wave. So yeah, it's, it's kind of nice having surfers out here. I'm about 20, 25 yards away from them. And you can see I'm in seven, eight feet of water right now. But this is a generally a good area to, to fish for halibut. You want to go as shallow as you can. You tend to find them, at least here in Southern California, in really shallow water. But you don't want to get caught in that surf zone. All right, let's take a closer look at my new reel here. So this is the Turn 300, it's by Accurate. And I'd always admired these reels. I, I, Accurate is the brand. They make solid saltwater reels. But for the longest time, they were only available in lever drag. This particular reel, this model here, the Turn 300, if you notice, it has a star drag. Look at that bad boy. And star drags, they tend to cast better than the lever, lever drags that really weren't known for their casting ability. So when they came out with this turn model, I, th I believe this is their first reel to ever have a star drag. Everything else has been lever. I had to jump on it. So I'm breaking this reel in today, but note, <laughs> it's not really designed for this type of fishing. I plan on using this more for yellowtail and and in deeper water for bass. For a, a reel of this size, this is a 300 size reel. It, I have this thing spooled with 345 yards of 40 pound braid. So I can put a lot of line on this on this reel here.
first fish of the day, sand bass. On live bait. Oh, that's a shark. Leopard. It is on, like Donkey Kong. This was definitely a larger shark, so it took me quite a while to get him into my yak. I'm gonna have to speed up the footage here because <laughs> it was a struggle to get this one in. Letting him go. Shark number three. Gotta get out of the surf zone. This next shark was even bigger than the previous one. So one thing to keep in mind, especially when you're fishing in shallower water, when you hook into something big, make an effort to get into deeper water because as you're fighting the fish, it's so easy to get distracted. And keep in mind, the whole time you're fighting, the, the currents, the, the swells will push you in towards the beach. And that's where you can get into trouble. If you're not paying attention, you could easily get swamped by a breaking wave. So here I'm pedaling outward towards open water as I'm fighting this fish. Once again, let's speed this up a bit because it did take me a while to reel in this shark.
hope you learned from my mistake here. Never try to take a shark of this size onto the deck of your kayak. They are a super strong fish and that tail, I mean, if you're caught off guard, that tail can easily knock you into the ocean. And if, you're, if your kayak is not as stable as this one, it could easily flip you. So you need to be extremely careful when handling large sharks like this. Now, another thing that they could do if they're thrashing around, they could, that tail of theirs can destroy your rod holders or your fish finder. I mean, it's all within easy reach of that, of that thrashing tail. So unfortunately, I had to cut him loose. I hate to do that, but I didn't want to risk bringing that big shark back on my deck. Believe it or not, this next fish gave me an even bigger fight than that third shark. He kept pulling line off of my spool and I had the drag set pretty tightly. So several minutes had to be shaved off this clip because all, all it is is me reeling and fighting this, this really large fish. Check it out. Dang. So as you can see, he was trying to take me back to the shoreline, but I just wouldn't let him. I kept going deeper and deeper into open water. Yeah, so you never want to let that let any fish pull you back into the into the surf zone. So I'm staying out here where it's safe. And yeah, at times I'll make circles around it, but I will not head back into shallower water. So I'm gonna speak to the footage a bit. Again, just because it, it took me a while to fight this fish and reel them in. Shovel nose shark. Look at this one. It's probably my biggest one so far. Let's see if I can get him in the boat and free. Holy cow! I like taking these big old fish into my boat. Risky. Very risky. It's a shovel nose. Yep. Hold on a second. I'm trying to get the hook out. Sure. There you go. I'm going to let him go. Here's a summary of our trip. As you can see, I launched from Baby Beach, went to the bait barge, got some live sardines, and then went straight to Doheny Beach, where we focused our efforts for most of the morning and landed, what, four sharks and a sand bass. Well, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to OC Outdoorsman, and if you would, please give this video a like. It would really help out the channel. Thank you.